2684 with the dead uh, MMI system. I've done an optical uh, ring break diagnosis and everything's okay except for the sound system which is the uh, amplifier. You can see this one uh, electrically is bad also optically is bad um, there's a there's a problem with the amplifier so the next step I went in the trunk I've uh, removed the amplifier from its location and I've unplugged it um, but uh, all these electronics they work on a on a fiber optic ring you can see the red light that's fiber optics the signal comes in through this section it goes into the module and it goes out through the other section and obviously if the module is bad the signal comes in but it never goes out so that brings the whole network down what I've done here I've used uh, an optical loop to uh, basically bypass the amplifier um, so right now the signal comes in through the loop goes out even though the amplifier is not present the whole network should have its signal um, and we are going to go in the car put the ignition on and we're going to call the uh, the MMI back up and here it is uh, just as suspected there's a bunch of lights here uh, service light, TPMS light um, but yeah the MMI is working now all these buttons light up as they should um, I can scroll through um, the menus uh, let's see navigation we'll do a map all the stuff is working however because the amplifier is out there will be absolutely no sound um, there's a CD, there's the telephone module, and so forth. So, um, I'm going to go back out of the car to the amplifier, which I've taken out and apart. And I'm afraid the, uh, the carnage that I found here might be a little bit too much for... Uh, or an amplifier rebuilt. I'm going to take pictures and send it to my connection on the East Coast. Um, this is all rust that's uh, accumulated under that cover. It's a little bit there. There's a lot of it here. You can see um, all that white stuff is corrosion everywhere. The worst part really is on that corner. Um, let me zoom in if I can and then also these very very fine traces of the uh, of these uh, chips there's there's one chip over there one chip over there those seem to be uh, there's another one there those are pretty pretty damaged um, there's a little bit of corrosion on this side as well Right there, right there. Um, some over that pin over there. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty bad. This is the uh, the connector that goes to the cooling fan. Again, I'm having a hard time zooming in, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. There it is all those pins are corroded that actually goes to this connector right here which has also taken moisture and started corroding uh, I don't know for how long this problem has been going on obviously um, in these instances time is of the essence as soon as you start experiencing problems with the MMI you know have somebody take a look at it because uh, otherwise the fluid will start rusting things out and uh, just ruin these uh, 
these circuit boards. Um, this is all caused by a problem with the with the rear windshield washer system. It's basically the one that goes from the from the wiper arm through here through this hinge and then comes out here. It's one of these one of these lines that basically ends up um, cracking. Uh, I don't know if it was a recall or a TSB, but what happens when your washer fluid in fact if you look over here you could see the I don't know why this thing won't focus. You could see some staining around this area blue uh, with a blue color hint because of the uh, because it's windshield washer there it is so all that it just drips down onto the amplifier and it ends up drowning it which is what happened to this car